Hello and welcome to EGN 3613 Engineering Economics Analysis. My name is Professor Yusuf and I will be your instructor for this course. Please feel free to contact me via email uh, at yusufn at detonastate.edu uh, face to face or through virtual office hours using Skype or via phone uh, or uh, uh, via uh, the discussion um, area. Please take the time to view, read, and understand all of the provided material. 99% of your questions are addressed in the syllabus or in the lecture or in the PowerPoint that's been provided on a weekly basis. Take the time to read and then ask questions as needed. If you need any help with the add and drop process, visit detonestate.edu slash help. My office hours are posted under the Announcements uh, tab through the online learning system. For easy access to the course material, what I did, I created for you a link uh, under the Welcome Announcement where it says click here to start and that will take you to the course material under Modules, the course content. The Textbook um, Fundamentals of Engineering Economics is required. Uh, it's the third edition uh, for uh, Chan o Park. Um, you can find the book uh, in the bookstore or online. Um, you can use uh, actually addall.com and it will compare uh, for you all the available options online, whether Amazon, uh, Barnes and Nobles, or any other stores, and uh, will provide you with the best price. You can use as a reference principles of engineering economics analysis 5th edition by White, Case and Pratt and uh, you can find that in the library if you cannot find it in the uh, uh, Daytona State Library you can find it in the public library if you need. Uh, again you don't need to buy this it's just a reference so uh, if you can find it in the public library um, that will be great and it, it's a great source of information. One of the questions that I will get always is what's in it for me to learn about um, economics analysis, especially that we are uh, engineers. Um, uh, first, uh, you will be able to talk uh, the, uh, to the financial people in their, or their own language. Since many companies are run by financial uh, or finance people and not to forget that the world uh, revolves around money. Second, you will be able to evaluate projects from the financial perspective, for example, which machine should be selected to automate the process or uh, to um, should we buy it or lease it or uh, uh, should we replace the whole production line or maintain it. All these um, uh, questions will be answered by uh, an engineer that has a background of economical analysis or economics analysis. In addition, uh, you will have benefits on the personal level. Um, you can uh, look at the different retirements plan and plan your, uh, for your retirement. You can buy or lease a car. Uh, you can uh, take a decision for uh, the best uh, loan uh, option for home mortgage. Uh, you can um, even buy um, appliances if you need uh, cash for 90 days, same as cash. Um, so you look at those options and you will understand what it means and um, you will uh, uh, know uh, what are the options that's available for you. You can also send your children to college. Um, you will know how to, to do that, how to save money for your children and send them to college. So all these personal decisions can be made uh, based on uh, understanding the economics analysis uh, of the uh, different uh, um, items, different projects, different decisions that we have on a daily basis. Uh, many students think that uh, this is a tough course. Actually, it's not. Although it's based on math, uh, but all what it needs is uh, just a little attention to the class requirements. Uh, watch lecture, 
lectures, different lectures, read assigned material, and do every assignment. And if you have any problem, just don't hesitate to call me or uh, come to my office or email me. And I will be more than glad to assist you. Once you understand the main concepts of the course material, which is at the beginning, uh, chapter uh, 1, 2, and 3, uh, after that, you will be fine. Um, there are um, uh, certain uh, critical success factors uh, that you need to consider, which is to apply yourself at the beginning of the course. Uh, do not expect to catch up later uh, because you want uh, with the material, the uh, amount of material that will be released, uh, you will not be able to catch up. Um, don't expect to read the book and understand it uh, or uh, finish it during the test or before the test, uh, one day before. Um, that will not work. Um, um, actually, you know, the exercises and the material that I will be given should be reviewed on a weekly basis so you will know uh, week by week what uh, type of information you got and if you have a problem you will have the chance to ask. So don't wait until the last minute to study for an exam and understand the course terminologies as they come. If you have a problem with any terminology, just let me know. The course is online, so all course material will be available for you uh, through the online learning system. Your homepage will display the different courses where you can click on your course of interest to access the course information. I suggest that you navigate through the different tabs to get yourself familiar with the course organization. In addition, I would suggest that you log in at least once every 48 hours, but you know, from, from my opinion, I prefer that you log in on a daily basis um, to stay current with course requirements and changes. Again, to view the course material, navigate through the different tabs on the course homepage under Falcon Online. All course material, including assignments, discussions, uh, quizzes, uh, presentations, uh, lectures, and supplemental material have been posted under the course content tab uh, through different modules. Uh, the modules will be released on a weekly basis uh, as the semester progresses. So you will see uh, every week a new material that will be released and you have to review uh, all the material that's been released. Uh, you need to access your online courses on a daily basis. Um, you need to check on the latest updates and the due dates to make sure that you did, you did not miss any assignments. One of the things that I provided for you this week is an icebreaker. Uh, make sure uh, the icebreaker in the discussion area, it's a discussion assignment that should be completed as soon as possible, which will be due at the end of this week. So make sure to finish it as soon as you can, and it will be graded out of 10 points. Uh, for uh, weekly participation, uh, Again, this is something that um, I also added uh, for students to be uh, in touch with me all the time. Uh, so all students are required to complete a weekly class assessment, uh, which will uh, be dated and submitted via email by Friday of each week. So you need to review the material of that week and then uh, email me uh, on Friday uh, answering the questions that are provided. There are questions that has uh, been provided have been provided in the announcements. Go to the announcements and you will see the questions that's need, uh, th that should be answered and emailed. So email me the answers for these questions every Friday uh, to participate or to address the um, uh, material that's been released that week. Um, so basically the weekly assessment is just to answer the questions posted in those announcements that addresses the material of that week. Review the material, answer the questions. Send me an email. There is an example of the email in the syllabus and there is an example of that email in the announcements. How you send me the email and what type of questions uh, you should answer. 
all communications should be through uh, online channels um, such as the email messages, the discussions, uh, Skype. Um, um, if you need to come to my office, I really encourage students to communicate through face-to-face -face, uh, or uh, phone channels that that will be during my office hours and I will be more than glad to assist uh, with uh, any uh, of these terminologies or uh, any of the problems. When you write an email, uh, the email should be uh, written in a professional way. Uh, do not use chat or text language. Um, uh, it will not be accepted. Uh, when you start your email, uh, you start it with Professor Yusuf. You don't start it with hey or uh, yo or any other um, uh, you know, uh, text or chat language. Um, the assignment sh submission should be um, online through Falcon Online uh, through the assignment tab um, unless um, um, you know I ask you to email it do not email it do not email your assignment you need to submit it through Falcon Online late assignments will not be accepted uh, use uh, the following naming format which is A1 for assignment number one A2 for assignment number two and so on underscore 3613 underscore your last name um, in the uh, document itself uh, write your full name and email address at the top of the first page of the assignment the assignment should be submitted in Microsoft Word format um, Microsoft Word has equation editor so you can add the equations that you need within Microsoft Word do not use your handwritten scanned document and send it to me use Microsoft Word for problem solving and show your work um, when you um, uh, show your work in the problem even if you have the answer wrong and the steps are right you will get credit for that so do not uh, just give me the answer or the final answer for the uh, question uh, show me uh, what you did show me your work um, there will be no review sessions for the exam, uh, for the both exams. You have um, a midterm and a final. Uh, the exams will uh, have true, false, and multiple choice. Uh, if I decided to make it a quiz, then I will let you know that there is a quiz, not an exam. But uh, usually, I have a midterm and a final. Uh, and in uh, all exams, most exams have 50 questions. Uh, again, if I need to minimize that to 40 questions, I will let you know uh, or it will be posted in the announcement that it's 40 questions, is not 50 questions. Uh, grading uh, changes uh, from one semester to another based on uh, given tasks and activities. Usually you will have graded assignments and exams, otherwise it will be specified in the syllabus. So check the syllabus for grading policy and points distribution uh, because I did change with the, uh, adding the participation uh, in uh, the uh, uh, overall grades. So um, look at that and you will find uh, the uh, proper grading policy for you. The goal of this course is to provide students with an understanding of analysis of the cost elements um, in technical operations and uh, the basis uh, for comparison of alternatives um, to assist you basically in decision making within a company especially as engineers looking at the different alternatives of replacing machines or uh, manufacturing options or um, bio release or other uh, uh, engineering decisions By the end of the semester, you should be able to formulate and solve time value of money problems. You should be able to identify sources of data and apply appropriate techniques to solve economic problems. You should be able to understand the importance of making uh, appropriate economic decisions. And you should be able to recognize the impact of engineering economics decisions in a global and societal or uh, social uh, context. 
The topics that will be covered are engineering economics decisions, time value of money, understanding money management, equivalence calculations under inflation, uh, present worth analysis, annual equivalence analysis, rate of return analysis, uh, resolution of multiple rates of return, and accounting for depreciation and income taxes. We will be using Microsoft Excel. Uh, if you don't have a copy, try to download um, OpenOffice. Uh, it's a free uh, software that you can download and it's, it's uh, basically the same as Excel. Uh, your assignments will be submitted in a Word format, but uh, you can either include the Excel file within the Word document or uh, take a snapshot of the spreadsheet and paste it in uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, if you don't know how to uh, use Excel, I will provide lectures on how to use Excel for different um, uh, economic uh, economics calculations. Um, also, I can uh, use Skype uh, for video conferencing, and uh, we can share. I can share the desktop, or you can share the desktop, so we can. Um, uh, utilize that type of communication to explain for you uh, the uh, needed uh, problems uh, or uh, to see uh, your work and uh, go from there. Um, again, you know, if you have any questions, you can email me, you can call me, you can Skype and uh, you can come to my office during office hours and I will be more than glad to assist you or to address your concern. Thank you and have a great day.